In this video, we will be rebuilding and restoring the 1995 Candel F600. Hey, how's it going? Just thought I'd quickly fly through some of these parts I'm going to be using. You see the F600 frame there. Uh, these are a set of wheels I built up using Hope RS4 hubs, so they've got no disc mounts on them, they're road based ones. Purple quick releases as well to match them. These are uh, DT Swiss Competition double butter spokes in silver for that retro look. And I've made them with Halo white line, kind of old schoolish looking rims. Uh, it's hard to get uh, decent rim brake rims in 26 these days. Uh, moving on to the braking, we got Avid Speed Dial 7s. Uh, got some super cheap lifeline brake pads these were I think $1.99 a pair so good value uh, Z-Fall old-school looking bottle cage which kind of matches the paint it's not quite right but it's close enough so that's all right reusing these Cannondale like uh, brake straddle things they're pretty neat so I want to reuse them reusing the Olivio cantilever brakes. I would like to find something different but for now let's get the bike back up and running. I'm going to reuse these. Uh, moving on to pedals I've got a brand new set of the basic Shimano M520s. These have been going around for years and years and years. Uh, easily serviceable and for 25 quid perfect for this. Reusing the Coda stem I've tried to clean up the bolts they're a weird size not thread but the actual head the thread size is weird um, I've been pickling in some white wine vinegar uh, it's done a half decent job they're cleaner than they were they re were really bad but I'm still gonna take them out and clean them I thought I had some titanium I might be able to use but no avail because it's a weird head to thread size reusing the coda bars grips I'm going for these old school ODI or OD ODI or OD, I'm not sure what would you call them. Uh, made in USA grips. Also, I'll show you the reason why I'm going to use these a little bit later. I'm not going to have Byron's. Seat post, uh, Chain Reactions Brand X. Super cheap black seat post, just because the other one's all scored up and looking tatty. It was like £12 for a brand new one, so it's less effort just to use it. We have 11 speed XT chain. We have race face 36 tooth narrow wide chain ring. We have a lightly used SLX 11 speed 1142 cassette. We have uh, XT rear derailleur, which is the part number for this. M. At the bottom, focus. M785? M786. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> rebalance that and uh, XT M780 cranks it's the same series as the rear mech uh, basic Shimano bottom bracket 11 speed M700 series uh, shifter and for tyres we got some Schwably Billy Bonkers in the fold up so all time looking good and time to get assembly. Oh, and the seat, white titanium. I find these Candale cable straddle mechanisms really interesting. So it's one of the features that I really wanted to keep with the bike. Um, I don't know, I've not set up cantilever brakes since my very, very first bike, mountain bike, way back when. Uh, I've always been V-brakes since then, uh, or discs. Uh, but yeah, I was just really interested to use these and see how they perform. With this bike, I'm probably not going to keep it forever, so I thought I'd do the next owner some service and grease to death everything that I've taken off and reapply. Um, on these, I'm reusing these little x uh brake bolts. I don't have a spare set of bolts suitable for this in my collection of old bolts but uh, I thought I'd reuse them, they're kind of interesting anyhow, they're, they used to be red but they've obviously gone pretty much a very light pink now with UV damage. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said earlier in the video, I'm reusing these Olivia brakes for now, but eventually I'd like to upgrade them. Mostly on the colour front, I don't find the sort of off silver colour very good for this bike, the painted silver. If they were chrome it would look good, if they were black it would look good, but this off silver isn't working for me. But for now, let's get the bike running and I'll upgrade them at a later point. I'm reusing one of the basic Shimano bottom brackets that I have in my stockpile, let's say. Um, this bike's not going to do mega miles. If it goes wrong, I'll just get another one. But for now, this will work fine for what I need it to do. I'm not 100% sure about the XT crank with the uh, race face chainring. Uh, for me, uh, it looks good, but it may be look a little bit too modern for the bike, I think, possibly. But with my intention to fit all the XT stuff, it matched the rest of the group set, so that's what I went with. test here not spinning the best but it's probably down to loads of the grease I packed into the bottom bracket I'm reusing the coda stem that come with the bike here uh, it's like a negative six I'm gonna position it when I received the bike it was like the positive six position it's also the longest stem on any bike I have I think it's 140 millimeters and like the stem I'm reusing the coda bars I kind of like the period correct chromey looking finish for this bike I think um, so I'm intended to keep both of these plus the stem is a really weird size It's a 1.56 diameter stem for the head shock system so hard to get hold of And this is where my build starts to go wrong. The Shimano Geeks amongst you would have noticed this already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in gear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gear one now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is this a ten speed shifter? It is indeed a ten speed shifter and a ten speed rear mech. I've just forgotten about it. It's been my part's been for a good part of ten years. So there's been a change of plan. We're going to remove the 10 speed XT shifter and rear mech and we're going to fit a SRAM X1 11 speed which come off Project BP Max.
drivetrain installed and the gear shifting quite sweetly, it's time to concentrate and get this build back on track and up and running. Grease is important on a bike build, but one area that is more important than the others is where you have mixed metals touching each other, and this is one of those cases. We have an aluminium crank arm and a steel pedal axle interacting with each other. These two metals generally don't get along very well, so applying a layer of grease between them can act as a preventative barrier uh, to prevent galvanic corrosion. Another area of concern is usually when you have a steel frame with an aluminium seat post. This is another area you want to really grease up heavily. Because of the cable routing on this bike, I wanted to use these little rubber stoppers. Usually I ignore these things, but I don't want the cable rattling against the top tubes. I thought I'd install them. I'm using some of Lidl's maximum hold grip stick on this project. It's available down the health and beauty aisle of most supermarkets or Lidl's. Uh, I think it's called hairspray for some reason. These are the worst dry squeaky bolts on the entire bike. They definitely need lubing up before reinstalling. One thing I need to have a look out for on my tool list is a proper crimper. I'm really fed up for using pliers on these end nipples, it doesn't work great. The final two jobs on this build are replacing this old tired seat post and installing that sexy flight titanium saddle. Uh, out of good practice, I'm uh, lubing up the seat post. It's des not desperately needing it on this bike because it's aluminium and aluminium, but it'll prevent scratches and make life easier for any people in the future. that iconic saddle installed there's only one thing left to do and that's do some bolt checks and we can take it for a ride
here is the finished project. So let me show you around. We have flight titanium saddle, basic, is it BX? Uh, seat post from Chain Reaction, they're like 12 quid, so just get one if you need a seat post. Better, easier in the store, unless you've got something special. Standard bars and stems, with a bit of grease left over. Got the Avid uh, 7 brakes, uh, brake levers, original canties. Uh, dog poo already on the test ride. Put the mechanism running. Uh, Fram X1 shifter, but I need to switch it onto this side because I just have the initial ride, I'm not very happy with it. Uh, 11 speed XT cranks with the basic Shimano 520 pedals. Uh, Shram X1 rear mech down there. Uh, so 11 speed with a clutch. SLX rear mech. Uh, Billy Bonkers tyres, uh, wheels are custom built with Halo white line rims and Hope RS hubs and I've gone for these DT uh, double butted competition boats, spokes in silver, so they look standard. Um, I want to swap out this Coda seat post still to a Hope one, um, but it's not in stock currently so I want to get rid of that at some point. And yeah, overall, oh and I'll probably swap out the brakes when I can find something decent. Ugh, disgusting people. Yeah, I'll probably swap them out to something decent soon if I can find it. Can't find anything at the moment, but overall, that's the finished project. I'll stick some photos in. I'm uh, taking my nice camera instead of my iPhone. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.